people, but uh, anyway, this the first one is called Stormy Waters. A gathering mudslide of city bankers pick over the public bonus bones. A small treat as their contempt floats like fat over minced meat. Heat jabs them, censure bubbles jitter, flitter to the top of their rancid waters. They have no argument and give no fight, a system fairly a born of city might. Big wigs in cahoots with no care, the, have, the haves and the haves more wash against their ample bows. They see no problem, unaware. The scales do not fall from their eyes, as crumbs of comfort are my bread. Dipped in a bureaucratic gravy boat, we, prisoners of leisure, at their behest. The truth is a smoking flare thrown into the space we all share. We pull the boat off the banks of debt and back it floats to sink again. Media moguls, fat fingers feed all my needs, hiding amongst the chicken nuggets of news to tell me, eat up, we give nutrition and degrees. Sober judgment indeed for the teat of greed. From this golden think tank we are taught, fairness and free thought are no comrades, rather save the world, go shopping, this will distract us from dangerous political tirade. Mm -hmm. For those who build a world on envy and hate, the fat cats, like rats, won't jump the ship, but be pushed over the side in a crate marked bait. Read and weep, tycoon, stormy waters await. <laughs> a bit more light hearted. It's called The Problem it Is. The problem is, I'm here to inform you I have a problem. Admitting it is the first step to recovery. It's serious, I admit. I am a hoarder. <laughs> I carry with me the primitive hoarding gene my family acquired long ago from squirrels. It started, it started with hobbies, coins, spending money to buy money, stamp collecting. Many an hour I could be found licking my hinges alone in my bedroom. I did train spotting, plane spotting, people spotting, spot people spotting things. My notebooks are piled high. They make excellent spotting. I trolled graveyards with rolls of paper and wax crayons. I could be seen on many a night rubbing away at a Victorian monolith. The vicar loved my rubbings. Tin cans, <laughs> wire, plastic, wood, cardboard, it was all there, piled high. I could not move for the stuff. So I constructed a robot in the garden. Not any robot, not any super duper fancy Terminator thing, no. I made a lost city, a lost in space robot. The gnome robot. I climbed inside and waited for my neighbour. He came down the path and I went into action, waving my plastic drainpipe arms about, shouting, warning, warning, alien approaching, warning, warning. He keeled over. Dead as a doornail. As the friendly police lady led me away, I noticed her cap and asked, Do you know I save badgers? She replied, And I save whales. Get in that bleeding van. Thank you. <laughs>